If you want to submit your character to be in some of these videos, then make sure you tune in till the end of the video. And make sure to like the video before we get started. The 3021 Under Armour All-American game is finally here. This game features the best players in all of high school football. And most of them are subscribers to the channel. The best players from the East versus the best players from the West. And in this video, we'll be controlling five-star defensive end Stan Amory, who just happens to be the best defensive player in high school. The last time Stan Amory was on the field, he was leading his team to win a high school national championship. The 30-20 season has been a crazy season for Stan Amory. This was his first year playing organized football, and he was so dominant that he ended up becoming a five-star in only a couple months, ended up being the third-ranked player in his class. That just shows you what type of talent he is. He has the physical traits and the on-field production. He led all the high school football in solo tackles, tackles for loss, and sacks. He started the year as a junior. But he reclassified up to be a senior He's committed to play at USC But before we see him play in action as a Trojan We get to see him one more time In his last high school football game The Under Armour All-American game Throughout this game He has to play against Four-star left tackle Deshaun Johnson And a lot of talented players From the Under Armour East team On his first rush of the game He got clamped up the quarterback Riley Brown found Beckham across the middle of the field. Amory will get clamped up once again, but the quarterback threw an interception to Massey in the end zone. But it wouldn't even matter because the West would turn the ball over when they got their chance. It would be first down and 10, though. The West on defense. Amory would hit the tackle with a nice spin move. But five star Texas Tech commit Colin Dunn would hit Ganari Hanna and Orkin commit right in stride. Amory would toss the left tackle, but he would trip over him, missing on the side. Lucky for him, his teammate made the play. But. Just toss the tackle, but he just tripped over him. After that play, it would be third down and seven. Amory would realize it's a screen, redirect himself, chase after Keone Davila, and he would get stopped only one yard on the play. Seven to three with 441 left to go in the second. Amory would toss the left tackle, but the right tackle does a great job of picking him up, and they got a first down conversion. First down and 10, less than four minutes left. Amory beats him inside, gets a little bit of pressure, but Colin Dunn got rid of the ball immediately. 10-yard reception to move the chain. All these subscribers are eating today. Amory puts him in the spin cycle, but he's too late. The quarterback gets rid of the football. A.J. Anderson, a 5-yard reception. It'd be second down and 5. The East is deep into the West Territory. Tried to hit him with the option, but Amory wasn't fooled at all. Got Colin done on the ground. 4-yard loss, and this was pretty much all instincts and film study. He knew the option was coming. Attacked the quarterback in a way that forced him to keep the ball and not pitch it. Score is 7-6. to six. The West is up. Amory hits him with a club, but he's way too late. The quarterback gets another conversion. 14-yard gain for DJ Jackson Jr. I'm not going to lie to y'all. The East is doing a great job of rotating quarterback, which is not an easy thing to do. Amory makes this look easy and puts the tackle straight on his back. Dewan Williams for a loss of two. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but anybody with a period next to their name means that they're a subscriber to the channel. So another subscriber, Javon Beckham, just eight right there for a 14-yard game. Amory drops back in coverage, sees the quarterback scrambling. And put that pain on him right there. Only three yards on the play. But the East has been moving the ball extremely well on this drive. First down the goal with 23 seconds left to go. Amory shares the block but misses the tackle and Keone Davila will walk into the end zone. Start of the third quarter, Amory actually gets pressure on the quarterback but he gets rid of the football early and Javon Beckham has a 10 yard reception. Amory has been shedding blockers throughout this game but the East quarterbacks have done a great job of getting rid of the football. Amory hits him with a spin move, gets pressure, forces him to get rid of the football, third down in inches. Put 69 in that spin cycle, four had to get rid of the football because he saw 22 coming after him. Third down in inches, Amory hits him with a club, gets the pressure, but Javon Beckham once again has a first down reception for the East team. Amory would shed this block and shows off his athleticism by running down Colin Dunn, but Colin Dunn still got the first down, so it didn't really matter. First down and goal right now for the East team. Amory gets a little bit of pressure, but the quarterback throws one of the worst passes I've ever seen. It had a wide open man, you just misfired. But they took him out of the game, put Dunn back into the game, and Dunn throws a touchdown, up 20-7. to seven. Amory does a great job of pursuing the wide receiver from the other side of the field, making the tackle. He has six yards on the play, second down and four. Amory put that pain on him right there. Tried to run that option. This man, Stan Amory, smacked him. Still up by 14, but he got 
pummeled on the play, tried to run that option, and Deuce Deuce was in his face. If the West team wants to win this game, they need to get off the field on this third down. Amory would get clamped up, and Riley Brown throws an absolute dime to Robert Wilkerson for a first down. Third down and four, they have another chance to get a stop. Amory drives them all the way back, but Colin Dunn throws an absolute dime to Wilkerson. First down and go East team. Down 14. Over three minutes left to go. Three timeouts. All you need to do is make one stop and they couldn't deliver. The cornerback Brian Massey got caught lacking. Dropped it right in the bucket. First down and go East team. If there was a time for Amory to make a play, it would be right here. Gets the pressure, but quarterback delivers a touchdown. Up by 13 on him. 27-14. Colin Dunn keeps the rock on the option and there's absolutely nowhere to go. Loss of three. Second down and 13. Amory realizes it's a draw, blows it up. Keone Davila, a two-yard loss on the play. Third down and 15. Look at the inside penetration right here from Stan Amory. Pure athleticism from the five-star defensive end. Third down and 15, though. Amory hits him with a spin move, gets pressure. Riley Brown gets rid of the football, back him short of the sticks. But it wouldn't even matter because the East team ends up winning. The final score, East 27, West 14. And that would be the end of the 30-20-30-21 Under Armour All-American game. Let's take a look at the player stats just to let y'all know beforehand if there's anybody with a period next to their name, that means that they're a subscriber to the channel. And if there's anybody with an apostrophe next to their name, then that means that they're a Patreon member. Colin Dunn, quarterback at Matha Catholic High School, Warren Jones, quarterback at St. Francis, did their thing in the passing game. A lot of guys rotated on the East team. Keone Davila, DJ Jackson Jr. wasn't really effective in the run game, but they made their butt in the passing game for sure. Like Javon Beckham, 7 for 85. Gennari Hanna, the Oregon commit, 7 for 50. Wilkerson, 5 for 91. Dewan Williams, 2 for 48. Anderson, 2 for 7. The East did a great job of spreading the football out, and a lot of quarterbacks got reps in this game. Four quarterbacks made some big-time throws, and they made those throws at important times during the football game. And I'm not going to lie. That's very impressive to do. Coming off of the bench cold, quarterbacks are normally a position that you need rhythm and continuity with, but these guys were coming off of the bench and throwing dimes. Sam Coates right here. John Neal, a Patreon member. Delgado is another subscriber to the channel. Zion Reddish is a subscriber to the channel. Reddish Jr. is a subscriber to the channel. Olmstead is a subscriber to the channel. A lot of subscribers was out here in this All-American game putting in work. And we can't forget DeAndre Coleman, the four-star free safety out of Damascus, Maryland. If we take a look at the stats on the west side, they do not look as pretty as the stats on the east side. Zane Williamson was the passing leader, 11 for 14, 213. One touchdown, one pick, 78% completion percentage. He did his job. But the other guys like DJ Huff, Debo Moten, did not have a very good game, even though those are some talented players from the state of Texas. Jair Williams from DeSoto High School balled out in this game, though. Eight catches, 158 yards, 19 yards per catch. So did Raheem Kareem Jr., four catches for 91, 22 yards per catch. You see Luke Carrico, Princeton Butler, Look quickly late. And Stan Amory didn't have his best game or one of the games we used to him seeing. But he still has six solo tackles, three TFLs. That's a decent game. Didn't have any sacks. It was getting the ball out extremely quick. Not easy for him to get sacks like that. But yeah, if y'all want to see the rest of these stats, the rest of these players, then feel free to stop the video. You can examine the stats with the guys did in the game, like Ethan Majid from Bixby High School did his thing in this ball game. So did Albert Patterson. This is Stein Amory's last game of his high school career. He's going off to USC next year. I can't wait to see how he balls out in spring practice and in the spring game, and then eventually his freshman season. But anyways, it's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all comment on the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And make sure you click on the post notification bell too. Helps the channel out tremendously. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. If you want to see what would happen if Garrett Wilson went to Michigan instead of Ohio State, then click this video right here. Or you can see every single Stan Amory video if you click on the playlist above. Also, if you want to have more customization and control over your character, then make sure you click on the Patreon link to the right.